Hello, and welcome back to the Stria Sports Podcast. I'm your host, Parker Stria, and on today's episode, we are going to be recapping the 2022 NBA All Star Weekend. I'm by no means a professional, but I do love talking about sports, so thank you for joining me. So the All-Star Weekend began on Friday, February 18th with the Celebrity All-Star Game. It was Team Bill Walton versus Team Dominique Wilkins. I didn't really pay a lot of attention to this game just because I don't really enjoy it normally. I really only watched a little bit of it because I thought Miles Garrett was going to dominate. And I mean, he did have a really good game, but his team did end up losing. But Team Bill Walton was comprised of... Jimmy Allen, Brittany Elena, Machine Gun Kelly, Dierica Hamby, Noah Carlock, Nyjah Houston, Matt James, Quavo, Ranbir Singh, and Alex Toussaint. And Team Dominique Wilkins was comprised of Annual AA, Tiffany Haddish, Mayor Justin Bibb, Jack Harlow, Kane Brown, Krissa Jackson, Miles Garrett, Booby Gibson, and Jolly Ranadive and John Marco Tambari. Team Bill Walton did end up winning with the final score of 65 to 51, with the MVP being Alex Toussaint with 18 points. Like I said, didn't really watch a lot of this game. I don't think it's that exciting normally, so I didn't pay too much attention to it. And then there was the Rising Stars game, which was more of a tournament if you look at it. It was Team Isaiah Thomas versus Team James Worthy. And then it was Team Rick Barry versus Team Gary Payton. And then the winner of those two games ended up playing each other in the finals. Game 1 and 2 were both played to 50. And then Game 3 was played to 25. Team Isaiah Thomas was Precious Achua, Desmond Bain, Sadiq Bey, Anthony Edwards, Tyrese Halliburton, Jaden Hardy, and Isaiah Stewart. Team James Worthy was Cole Anthony, Marjan Beauchamp, Josh Giddy. Jalen Green, Herb Jones, Tyrese Maxey, and Jalen Suggs. Team Rick Barry was Cade Cunningham, Isaac Okoro, Evan Mobley, Dyson Daniels, Alperen Sengun, Jayshon Tate, and Franz Wagner. And Team Gary Payton was LaMelo Ball, Scotty Barnes, Ayo DeSomo, Scoot Henderson, Jonathan Kaminga, Jaden McDaniels, and Davion Mitchell. Team Isaiah Thomas ended up beating Team's James Worthy in the first round with a final score of 50-49, to and Team Rick Barry beat Team Gary Payton with a score of 50-48. to So the finals was Team Rick Barry versus Team Isaiah Thomas, and Team Rick Barry ended up winning with the final score of 25-20. to Like the Celebrity All-Star game, I didn't watch any of the... I actually didn't watch any of these games... I don't know if it just, I just didn't think I had them available to me, but I was also busy, so I didn't really have time to watch. These games I thought were, looking back on them, I think were a little bit more exciting. These are some of the best young players in the league. You have guys like LaMelo Ball, Cade Cunningham, Tyrese Maxey, Cole Anthony. So promising young stars, and I love that they were given the opportunity to go out and show what they had. Which I didn't really watch a lot of it, so I don't really have a lot to say. And then on Saturday, February 19th, it started with the Skills Challenge. So there were three teams that all competed in the first three events, which were shooting, passing, and a relay. And then the top two teams from the first round would advance to the final event, which was a half-court shot contest. So that was pretty much whatever. It would go one team at a time, one player at a time, you have to make a half court shot pretty much and you would set the time so if you went first and you shot a half court shot and made it in say five seconds which is crazy that means the next team would have like four or five seconds to beat that if they had six seconds they lost and you won so there it is the one team was team rookies it was scotty barnes josh giddy and cade cunningham team cavaliers was jared allen Darius Garland, and Evan Mobley. And then Team Ante Tacumpo was Giannis, Thanasis, and Alex. I didn't watch this, but Team Cavs did end up winning the skills challenge. I thought it was very fitting, considering the entire All-Star weekend did take place in Cleveland. I thought it was only fitting that the team from Cleveland actually won. Obviously, it's not like scripted. I don't believe so, at least. 
But I thought it was really cool that the Cavaliers ended up winning in their home home city. And then moving on to the three-point contest, it was C.J. McCollum, Trey Young, Zach Levine, Desmond Bain, Carl Anthony Towns, Fred Van Fleet, Luke Kennard, and Patty Mills. You know, I did watch a little bit of this one. I personally thought C.J. McCollum was going to win. I know people probably thought guys like Trey Young or Luke Kennard were going to win. C.J. McCollum, I love him. He's one of my favorite players in the league, so I had to root for him. But I was not upset with Carl Anthony Towns actually winning. I thought it was really cool to see a center winning a shooting competition against some of the best guards in the some of the best shooting guards in the league, I should say. Like guys like CJ McCollum, Trey Young, Luke Kennard, Fred Van Fleet are some of the best shooters in the league. And then to have the lone big man in there come out and win it, I thought was awesome. I love Carl Anthony Towns. I'm glad he's finally getting some recognition because his team is actually kind of doing good this year. I mean, they're sort of in the playoff race, so they're actually getting some recognition. But I love that he won. It doesn't really mean anything, obviously. It's not going to affect them post-All-Star weekend. But I thought it was really cool. It's really nice to see him go out and like finally getting some recognition at an All-Star weekend. So I was happy with how that ended. And then Saturday ended with the dunk contest. It had Cole Anthony, Juan Toscano-Anderson, Obi Toppin, and Jalen Green. I didn't watch this, and I am really glad I didn't watch this because everything I've seen about this event was awful. Tons of missed dunks, which is very uncharacteristic to the dunk contest. I mean, obviously some guys are going to take one or two shots to make their dunk because they're trying to get a crazy dunk to get a better score. But I heard it was like one for nine for first round or something crazy. I don't know what the actual numbers were. But to have that many missed dunks after years, obviously the last couple dunk contests haven't been great. But going back to like 2016 with Aaron Gordon and Zach Levine, I think we were kind of spoiled with that because that was arguably the greatest dunk contest ever. And then for this, like I said, I'm glad I didn't watch it. I heard it was awful. But Obi Toppin from the New York Knicks did end up winning. I mean, it is what it is. I didn't pay too much attention to this game. Didn't really care a lot. And then on Sunday, we had the 71st NBA All-Star Game. It was Team Durant versus Team James. I did actually watch some of this, so I was I was happy. I mean, I wasn't happy with how it ended. But overall, I really liked the game. Uh, Team Durant was Joel Embiid, John Morant, Jason Tatum, Trey Young, Andrew Wiggins, Devin Booker, Carl Anthony Towns, Zach Levine, DeJounte Murray, who was replacing Draymond Green, Chris Middleton, LaMelo Ball, who was replacing Kevin Durant and Rudy Gobert, and then Team LeBron James was LeBron James, Giannis Antetokounmpo, Stephen Curry, DeMar DeRozan, Nikola Jokic, Luka Doncic, Darius Garland, Chris Paul, Jimmy Butler, Donovan Mitchell, Fred Van Fleet, and Jared Allen, who was replacing James Harden. Now, Team James did end up winning the overall thing with the score of 163 to 160. I personally, I thought they were going to win. When you just look at the teams in general, LeBron James's team was so much better. But, I mean, Team Durant, they put up a good fight. I wanted Team Durant to win just because some of my favorite players are on that team, but I wasn't surprised that Team James ended up winning. The MVP of the game was Golden State Warriors point guard Stephen Curry, who ended the game with 50 points. Now, these weren't just any 50 points. Stephen Curry shot 16 for 27 from behind the three-point line, which was an all-star game record. And only three of his 20, only three of his 30 shots weren't from behind the three-point line, which, I mean, not surprising. It's Stephen Curry. He's the greatest three-point shooter of all time. But then on Team LeBron, he had 50. Uh, Giannis had 30. LeBron had 24. DeMar DeRozan had 10. Nikola Jokic had 10. Jarrett Allen had 10. 
Darius Garland had 13. And actually, the only player on the team to not score was Chris Paul. I'm not surprised he didn't score. He was only in for two minutes, but that's because that's because I'm pretty sure he was injured or had some sort of injury, so I'm not surprised he didn't play a lot. I would have liked to see more of him, but I'd rather see him healthy and have a good playoff run later in the season. And then on Team Durant, they were led by 76ers center Joel Embiid, who had 36 points and 10 rebounds. Um, Andrew Wiggins had 10 points. Jason Tatum had 8. Trey Young had 13. John Morant had 6. Off the bench, DeJounte Murray had 17. LaMelo Ball had 18. Zach Levine had 12. And Devin Booker had 20. A really impressive, a really impressive showing from both teams. Like I said, I wanted Team Durant to win, but Team LeBron James did end up winning. I'm not sad about it. Both teams were really good. I mean, it's I I kind of have a bad taste in my mouth from All Star games just because of the Pro Bowl a couple weeks ago. But you know, there's only so much complaining you can do. I wasn't too let down. I thought it was a good game overall. They were both playing for charity, so can't really complain about that. But I'm your host, Parker Stria, and this has been the Stria Sports Podcast. And a random sport fact of the day is that Anthony Davis holds the record for most points in an all-star game with 52. As always, thank you for tuning in, and don't forget to hit that notification bell for whenever a new video gets posted. <laughs>